Hey everyone! Welcome back to Immortal Love, Blind Desire. I'm Michael Gray, and we're gonna start this video with a Hidden Objects Challenge! Let's see if we can find all these various items. So you want to grab this thing here and put it on the pillow to get the pillow. I think we need to find something heavy in order to destroy that. So let's see, is there a hammer or something nearby? Hmm. Oh, here's the hammer. Okay, use the hammer there for the note. And solving the hidden objects challenge gives us the carriage key. So, at the end of the previous video, we unlocked this area. Yay! And there's the manor. We need to get to that manor. And we need to find a treat for the horse as well. Okay, so the carriage key is going to use be used on the carriage. That's going to give us two items, some paint and sign boards. And there's a brush. We totally have a painting challenge coming up, don't we? Ha! The stable key goes in the stable. Okay, that gives us some more items including a ladder. Let's go back to the church. We're gonna use the ladder over here to grab this candy. I don't know why somebody puts candy that high up in a church. No one can reach it. You really shouldn't be eating all sorts of crazy candies in church anyway. <laughs> Rubber belt goes there. Uh, bent nails go there. Gonna smash those nails and now they're working perfectly. And I have a rasp as well. The rasp goes over here for some boards. We're gonna zoom in on this. We're gonna put the nails into place and then put the boards into place for a puzzle. So I hope I can solve this puzzle correctly. I think on the left-hand side we have this. That's the left-hand side. Now how do we get the right-hand side? Well, that doesn't match. This doesn't match anything. Um, those match? No. No. So it's not the tree on the bottom. Let's see. Tree in the middle. There we go. And we're going to use the candy on the horse for a puzzle. This is basically a chess puzzle. You you can only move your, your knight uh, one. And it, it's a big L shape. So one in one direction and two in another direction. You're going to move the horse all over the board to get all of this candy. All of the yummy, yummy candy. And then the horse will love you. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so let's see. I think here the trick is you want to go down first. You want to go down first there, and then you're going to go up. Clear up all that candy. And go right here. And yeah, you need to pick up a piece of candy with every single move in order to solve the puzzle. We're going to go back over here. Yeah, the curse is killing me. So this is Sutton Manor or Sutton's place. We were here earlier. Well, we're going back inside going back inside. So I'm going to grab that, and uh, it's a note clip, basically, and the door is locked. The door is locked. We need to solve a puzzle. We're going to grab that. We're going to need two things to start that puzzle. It's a tough puzzle. Trust me, it's, it's, it's a toughie. Okay, there's something we need. We need to fix that bottle. It looks like we're going to go over here. We need to get rid of this mechanical spider. We need to grab that somehow and we have uh, gems so we go to the right hand side of the house here we have a uh, couple puzzles here so there's the painting puzzle and the birdies hi birdie okay we have a brooch i need something to reach that could i get the birdie to help me maybe i don't know it's not a brooch it's a lock it's a lock we use the note clip with the lock and looks like we've got some glue here so i put the brush in there in the glue guess what I've got a brush with glue. Brush with glue goes there, and I'll put the tablet shards there, but it looks like I'm still missing some tablet shards. Maybe the rest are over here, sort of by this grave. This unknown grave. So the shards go over here. We're going to put them into place with a very simple jigsaw puzzle. Giving me the key to the Sutton Manor. Let's go inside. Yeah, you might re remember this place from earlier. Oh! My love, help me! She took me to the tower. I can't hold on much longer. Yeah, this is... Uh, Baron Sutton was sitting here last time we were in this particular room, but now we have this terrible, terrible monster in the, ray, in, in the way. It's not good. I think over here on the right, we want to grab that glove, and we're going to use it on the left. 
and that's going to give us access to the Baron's hunting room. Oh my. So let's see if we can find everything here. Ah, paints. 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 Those are clearly the what we need. Sutton, why are you taking a revolver with you? That won't be useful on the hunt. Cray. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baron Sutton didn't bring a rifle. He brought a revolver. That's suspicious. What if... What if Gray isn't the one who who killed who killed <clears throat> Ursula's Ursula's beloved? What if what if the it wasn't a, a tragic accident? What if it was deliberate murder? And that's why that's why the Baron brought a pistol, which is better suited for murder than for hunting. I don't know. That that's what I'm thinking. It's totally making it seem like. The Baron, Baron killed Wood now. Speaking of Wood, let's make a portrait of him. Oh man, I wish painting was this easy in real life. Like, painting by numbers? Oh, this is so easy. So where's the red area? Here's the red area. Here's the blue area. A little brownish area. Green area. Pink area. And the blue. So she loved Oliver passionately. Very, very passionately. And we are going to put the gems here with the gem clue. This is kind of a difficult puzzle, but I think I can solve it. So let's see, I need to get this red thing here, the red thing there, so I can spin it like that. Yeah. Now let's get these three blues on the, on the, on the left. Looks like I just spin the middle one. Yes, that's how we do it. And now we get to the really difficult one. So, uh... Gosh, how how do I do this? Um, let's see. Let's get these three green gems to the left. Because it looks like there are three green gems on the left. So let's see. I'll have to get two greens in a row. And let's swap this for a green. See this blue that I'm trying to, to highlight? So that blue needs to be a green. That way I can spin this around and I have three greens on the left. Perfect. So now we need a, a bunch of blues here. So let's see. I've got blue here. Those three blues are perfect. I need to change this red into a blue. No, oh, no! Oh, and I just mixed everything up. Oh, dear. Okay. Also, I'm going to have to move the blue out of the way. Okay. Now I've totally messed things up. Okay, so I need... Now it's this purple that I need to turn into a blue. Actually, these two colors both need to be blues. So if I can change that into a blue, that would be perfect. Yeah, and change this one into a blue as well. And that way when I rotate the pieces into place, I've got all sorts of blues. The final blue needs to be moved down there somewhere. Right there, right there. Okay, so it looks like I need a, a lot of light blues over here. So let's get, let's just, just move a bunch of light blues into place. So two light blues. I'm doing it from top to bottom. You don't have to do it that way. I don't know why I'm doing it from top to bottom, actually. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm going to have to get, yeah, that, that yellow's got to have to go. That yellow's going to have to go. Let's get it. Let's, let's get it with the blue. Make it a blue instead. And now this, this pink, that pink right there needs to turn into blue. Okay, so I'll move this blue around because it's the only blue around. And now I've got a bunch of blues in place. Where's the last blue supposed to go? The last blue is supposed to go here. I need to swap that blue and that red. Hmm, okay, so I'll move this around, get that blue out of place, get a, do I have a red? Let's get a red into place there. So it'll look like this. Oh, messed up, let's see. So I'll specifically want... No, no. Ah. This is a very difficult puzzle. I'm, I I would not get mad at you if you if you wanted to. 
skip this puzzle. Okay, so now we've got those blues in place. There's a red. Just a random red in the middle of there. We need to get that yellow there. And then here we hope, against all hope, that I've got everything perfect. And all these other pieces will, will just fit together so, so perfectly. They they will not. Okay, they won't. Okay. Actually, that looks really good. Um, I need to get these greens into place, though. So let's get a green out of the way. And I need... Yeah. We need to get all these greens into place. Can't forget about those greens. So let's get this green into place here. And then all those greens are into place... And it looks like, oh no, oh no, I made a mistake with these uh, reds. I need to get this final red up there. So, in order to get that, I need this thing to be a red, which means this. I'm gonna have to go like this. Move a red there. There. Swap that. Done. Okay. Very, very long puzzle. I apologize for taking too long with that puzzle. I did want to solve it legitimately, so that gives us a jewelry box. Oh, Ursula, will you marry me? Oh, well, that's a happy memory. That's a happy memory indeed. So let's find more happy memories. Find all these happy memories. Now we have enough power to defeat those monsters. So let's go back inside. Uh, oh, it's only one monster this time. Let's defeat it. Before her death, Ursula's mother told her to find a man who would love her as much as she loved him. Through love, she would find true happiness. Though many charming young men sought Ursula's heart, strangely, every one of them ran away from her without a single goodbye. Just as Ursula was ready to accept that she would be alone forever, the young Baron Wood appeared. He captivated her with his passion and confidence. He swore they would always be together. All her boyfriends ran away? All of them? Wow. Sounds to me like maybe the Baron was scaring away her boyfriends. Gosh. Okay. Well, let's end the video here. In the next video, we'll continue going through the Sutton Manor. And hopefully, we'll find Grey. Hopefully. That, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs>